Well, I mean, you're looking for, you know, guys that have great competitiveness and, you know, all of these guys, by the time you draft them, have been in a lot of big games, so you've had a chance to observe that stuff. Stanley's toughness and competitiveness and the fact that he'll never back down, I mean, that's not been a concern all year. I mean, what he's got to do is, you know, play smarter, make better decisions, and continue to work on his skills. So I, I never have a doubt about his competitiveness. Now, I don't know if he's going three for three from three again tomorrow, but I know he'll go out and battle defensively and he'll get on the boards. He's a hell of a rebounder for a perimeter guy. Eight rebounds yesterday. So, you know, that kind of stuff we know he'll do, and, and um, he needs to continue to do that as he, as he works to improve the rest of his game. Um, you know, he just did what was did to him to start. He came out, played tough, and then, you know, he has a guy trying to throw him around all day, toss him off, and um, you see man child over here, you know, 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, 240. Uh, you can't really root him or throw him off. So he played the same game that, that was presented to him. Uh, you know, you hope, you hope everybody sees the game the same way. If one guy's allowed to be physical, then you hope Stanley is as well. So. I like the way he came out and competed, and uh, that's what we expect from him all series. When you got a guy who's competitive like that, and uh, just who's that relentless and fearless, especially you know in, in his own mind, and just loves to go out there and compete, you, know, you always want a guy like that in the foxhole with you. Is it surprising to see that sort no. of? No, uh, I think everybody knew Stanley had a chance to be. He was a mental monster since he's been 17. He doesn't fear, like I said, he fears no man. He's very confident in his abilities and what he does. He's still figuring out what he does well. And, um, things that he has to work on and, you know, constant conversation with him about it and he, he admits up to it, but he, he just wants to be better. He always wants to be better. He wants to be the greatest to ever do this. He wants to be the best him and, um, like I said, he fears no man. So yesterday's performance really wasn't necessarily surprising after being around him so long. I think Stan does a good job of letting me learn by myself because I am stubborn. Um, but I think he does a good job of, of telling me what to do, um, but then let me hit my head on the wall a couple times and then figuring out, okay, this is what you're supposed to be doing. So I think um, from this year, um, just preparation and stuff, I think I got that down now to a point where at the rest of my career, I'll be more focusing on building on the, on the habits I have now.